Hello everybody, I'm trying to do live from my cell phone. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, George, Nata, Zane. Evening, guys. It's 5.15, 5.17 in Ukraine. Yeah, let me set everything I need. Hello, everybody. B, Arda, Parvas, Michael, Michael, hello guys, uh, yeah, please give me just a few seconds. I will do all settings here. Uh -huh. sound is here okay so seems everything is good and uh, let me flip the and there is Luba and Jack somewhere we are in the countryside don't look that it's messy a bit especially in the yard everything is because of Jack Jack, do you remember this ball? So it's not, it's not the ball anymore. It's just the piece of <laughs> the piece of some gum because Jack, unfortunately, yeah, <laughs> destroyed this ball. <laughs> but he still enjoy playing with it. <laughs> Luba is here. This is one of our cat. Yeah, and he's he's so big right now. I know maybe like 10 kg. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this is Jack's friend. We just returned from our evening walk next to the river. And now have some time before dark. Hey guys, dogs are great, but they are destroys destroyers sometimes. As for this dog, as for Jack, he destroyed and crashed so many so many things that we that we really use. For example, you know this uh, tire pump for the car. He like uh, bite all wires, then he destroyed. Shoshi, зарядка для аккумулятора. It's like a charging station for the battery, and every time he takes something like in the storage and then he put it away. Yeah, he also destroyed few pairs of headphones few pairs of shoes like really a lot of uh, mine don't chew anything but food except for cats they don't like them <laughs> as for our Jack he also likes chickens ducks and sometimes he even killed them especially when he stays home alone without anyone uh, he needs a solid rubber Jack, ball or a steel ball bearing <laughs> steel ball <laughs> it's like this you know from from bowling this uh, ball from the bowling 
Uh, I bet my daughter's puppy dog has my girl in the hole for a lot of money. Ah, so yeah, this is our what our evening in Ukraine. So somebody asked, uh, "Where are you?" So this is Poltava region, and you see some firewood. We were in the forest today and took a bit because the weather currently is warmer than it was before, but we still need some uh, wood to hit the house. Uh, Jack needs more toys and no one shoot toys. He has, he has. Every time, every time when we came to the countryside, so let's say every weekend, every weekend we take some new toy we buy some new toy uh, but next time the next visit when we came so this toy is destroyed so jack he has already let's say maybe five balls we also bought him a data veryovka z mячиком ja des kidavy i kudis like he has he has a lot of lot of toys but uh, all of them live for just a few days <sighs> and a week ago or two weeks ago jack he digged the hole here not the hole or the hole yeah and he was searching for something maybe he was searching for some bone or for, for something that the previous jack uh, hide, hit, hide, hidden? No. Druga, druga forma. Hide. I forgot. Hide, hide, hidden. So that the previous dog put there. Uh, he also plays with such oh you see oh my gosh jack it, it's it's really it's really it's really like a bit dangerous you have to be careful with him because he's already jumping jumping so high jerry good morning good morning my friend uh, let me read your comment i will flip the cam so luba We'll play with Jack. I can say Jack a solid rubber ball might last a few days. I don't know, like I I have to to check for such balls in Ukraine. I I know what you're going through with Jack. I had a German Shepherd and he tore up my seats in my Porsche and my wife's Volkswagen and our couch in the house. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. So th th this is the same. He's doing he's doing same same stuff here. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, Jack uh, he he rides only in our Soviet Jeep. Like he like he had a few trips in the Chevrolet. Oh. Ah. Yeah, this is our exercises, our entertainment with Jack, like who is stronger. And we also bought him such a, I don't know the name for this, <laughs> like dog's rope. <laughs> 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 yeah, After you tell, tell him no and he listens, then give him his own, tell him it's his. Then know the difference smarter than the most humans. We're trying, we're trying to do them, to, to do that. And uh, when we train him, we give him some 
you know, like uh, not candies, but uh, some uh, dogs candies. I don't know. They are not. Uh, they are not sweet. They are making made from some mm, some hard material. Yeah, leash. Thanks, Arthur. Leash. Or when we train him, we also him uh, give him some snacks, mm -hmm. some like small pieces of snacks. Jack acts so much like a boy. He's uh, one year and uh, one and a half months. Are those slippers Luba is wearing? <laughs> What's wrong? This is a uh, typical slippers for Ukrainian countryside. Kapitan, we suck up here. Oh. Uh. Dog treat biscuit. I know. As as for our Jack. Ah, no, it's it's Luba. Luba said it like Ukrainian Crocs. But uh, I don't know, like, I, I wear same shoes, like, same slippers, but black. So they are very comfortable for this weather and they are not expensive. So you can buy a few pairs and it's enough for like half a, half a year. All right, so we had a trip to the forest and yeah, I took a bit of wood, but it's already inside, near to the wood boiler. Uh, still cold? Yes. Uh, during the day, it was warm today actually, maybe plus uh, 6, plus 7 Celsius. But during the night, it's still minus 1, minus 2. Hi, Steve. You need uh, heel lace. I don't know what is what is heel lace. Jerry, Steve, you are so early today. Like I, I haven't warned you about this live because, yeah, it was sudden, and so I didn't write to our chat. But thanks for joining. Привет, Кайрол. I had a Jack Great Dane Irish Wolfhound. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack looks like he is in training for the doggy Olympics. Uh, he at least needs some training how to behave himself, because he is still he still uh, acting widely wild when we go outside, go somewhere. Uh, Mariam, bye. Have a good day and thanks for joining this video, this stream. Uh, Jack needs a con ball to play with. Ricky, he has he has a lot of boys. Oh, a lot of boys, <laughs> a lot of balls, but all of them, they are somewhere around the yard. So, for example, here this one, and it's really good because there is no air inside. Ладно, Jack, давай бежи. Oh. And he has these toys everywhere. Ah, there is a toy on the ground. Where? I don't remember. Ah, let's go with me. How old is Jack? One year and one and a half months. I'll show you Haley's later, Paula. Sure. Yeah, you can send it in our chat. Typical German Shepherd. But he's like he he seems to be like big, but uh, in, and long. But inside he's still puppy, because he's acting like a puppy all day through. <laughs> and you see that he he's trying to play with uh, the ball with this rope. At the same time, he have no space in his mouth, but he's still jumping and trying to catch the rope. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry for maybe making mistake. Mar Marcio, Rossi, say hello to Brazil, please. Hello, Brazil. 
Uh, Fabio. Oh, so you're Fabio, you're not Marcio. I have rubber sticks for my German Shepherd. Yeah, like maybe we have them too, but yeah, I don't know what is rubber. Rubber. I know what is stick. Uh, George, yeah, he's a huge and strong puppy. Uh, yes, watch out for too many and over reward while he's still chewing on what he wants. He can learn it's just overload his sins. My friend trains German shepherds for the police. It's amazing how well they can learn. And may maybe uh, they use some like uh, methodic, some special methodic for training dogs. Because as for us, we watched like some videos on YouTube how to train dogs, like uh, some commands. But he still, he still like, uh, acts like. He's untrained dog. <laughs> John Paris. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, John. Maybe I missed. Uh, do you have post office? We can send Jack some toys. Zane, 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 or Zane, Zane. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, we have the post office box. You can uh, write me on my email and I'll share with you. So don't look that it's messy because it's messy just because him. Ты же кажешь игрушки? Привет, Дмитро. Привет, Павла. Hope your guys are doing good. God bless. Дякую, Дима. Uh, Soviet Jeep, more videos. My dog, my, my doesn't, my dog don't. Dallas, my does don't chew. Seems my your dog or your dogs, they will dig for animals in the ground. So this guys, yeah, this is a kid dog. Could this? И кудись? Ну да, недавно ось. Павло, когда Джек полностью выросла, и не папа, но больше, он будет хайкать его лег, чтобы пить, вместо сквотинга. Он делает это. Он делает это уже. Так что он выбрал его лег like a adult dog because before he was uh, like his he his he sits yeah it's like his quote when he pee but now he's just uh, he's doing what you said oh, Люба is looking for that new toy. Она была грязная, я ей десь тут кидал. But I don't know where is that new toy because uh, the toy is interesting. It has a rope and a small ball, like a rugby, rugby ball, or like in American football, with this. Uh, with this shape, it's like not a circle. Uh, let me read your comments. I'm sorry if I miss some comments because I see just three comments on this screen because I'm streaming from the cell phone and it shows me only three last comments. So, Privit from Texas, great videos. Thank Privit Daniel. How's the situation? Because I I saw that uh, there were some fires in Texas. So I hope that everything is good. Good night from Australia. Good night. 
midlife crisis, 50 plus, so interesting nickname. Hello, it's Clinton, watching you from Kenya. Hello, Clinton. Mm. I'm mechanic motor vehicle studying student from India. I love the Russian old vehicle. Sunday holiday. I'm watching your videos from India. Thanks for watch watching my videos. And this vehicle, it's like, it's not Russian. It's Soviet vehicle, but it was uh, constructed and produced in Ukraine, like not in Russia. So it's not correct. Call this vehicle Russian. Uh, Mikoli, hello, why all of you speak in Russian? Mikoli, I don't know what are you talking about because we speak Ukrainian my parents, Ljuba's parents, our grandparents For who? Maybe sometimes, yeah, like but it's more about my parents because uh, my parents sometimes they speak like uh, on Surzik, so it's the mix of the languages of Russian Ukrainian. Because, like, be being honest, uh, speaking to Ukrainian like not fluently but uh, one hundred percent correct, like to find all words, it's not so easy. So uh, sometimes. People, they just insert um, like Russian word and this language we used to call this language Surzik. But it's not even language, it's just like the way how people who live in uh, rural areas or how people who were born in rural areas, how they talk and speak. Uh, hello from Vancouver Island, Canada. Hello, Cindy. Uh, I don't know about the humidity. Hello, Jan McCohan. Hello, Carson. It's 23.36 in Australia. А у нас кілька? 6? 38? 5.39. It's 17.39 in Ukraine. The wall looks like a river. You mean this wall? Or which wall? Everything changes, even dialects. Uh, hello, Frank. Uh, Joshua Alexander Morero, last comment. How is the station in Ukraine? So it's the same like nothing changed like for good and uh, i know that this morning we had a uh, drone strike in odessa and the drone hits the civil building and the one entrance uh, like crashed and i know that uh, several people died under rubbles and five or seven people were wounded So maybe you already uh, seen that uh, video from Odessa in your local media or your local news. Mm. But yeah, sirens every day, like three, four, five times per day. Drone missiles, and it's been two years. How many languages Jack speaks? He he doesn't speak at all. Prayers for you and your wife. Thanks, Katrin. Slava Ukraini from Devon, UK. Royam Slava, Devon. Hello from South Africa. God bless you. Hello, up to date news feed. Joshua Ashquil. Люба, ти читаєш коментарі? Угу. Uh -huh. so... Це написали за ці стіни, ah. за запори і квічка. Да. 
Jack tired. He's having rest. Luba is reading comments. Прикол. Да, тот записал. Beaut P, what do you think of your president? You, you have to ask some specific, specific question. Uh, the answer Poltava Oblast 64 humidity, 5 Celsius temperature. Yeah, could be, could be. Because, yeah, this day it was really warm. As I said before, maybe 6 or 7 degrees. But now, closer to the night, it's getting colder. Hello, Asende. Asende Nyota. Hello, Jenna. Девушка, <laughs> Mystic Sage. Hello, Mystic. Все, заснув. Ему надо просто каши новые. Забыл. Джек, fall asleep. Люба не big tasty. В селе такого не продают. Люба не это big tasty. Yeah, next time, next time, and we'll go to the city. We'll go to our favorite McDonald's restaurant and we'll take my Mc, Mc Tasty, <laughs> Big Tasty. Hey Paolo, when you come to UK? It's a good question, but unfortunately there is no answer on that question. Good doggy. Uh, I'm sorry about the Republicans holding up the aid. I didn't vote for any of those assholes. It's not your fault, of course. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest, why it's so long, why they cannot like already decide and provide. Because we have just these talks that soon, 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 and nothing happened. Hello from Southern B, Canada. When you look, when you look the live stream comments on ah, on Luba phone, does it show in English or Ukrainian? It show. It shows in language you wrote the comment. What's the most useful American product for Ukraine? It's third tech. It's a Patriot. Patriot system probably is the most useful American product right now. Anton and family send greetings from Yardley, PA, US. Дякую, Антон. Вам привіт з України, з Полтавської області. Blessings from US, Tea Party. Nick, good to see you both looking well and healthy. Thanks, Nick. Hey, Paul, is the Ukraine when the Carpathy will come? Ivan Frankius maybe block there a little. Maybe, maybe just in the end of this year because we were thinking about visiting Western Ukraine during the winter time, but it's it's like cold during the winter time. And during the summer time, it's of course also a good. Inna, Inna. Ah, so <laughs> there, there is Luba's friend, and she's uh, currently in Ireland, and she's asking to say hello, hello Inna, hello. <laughs> do you use Starlink? No, we do not use Starlink. We use just regular internet. And uh, before, before, like maybe two or three years ago, we have internet through the satellite. We have some, uh, not connector, like small station. But now we have just uh, wired internet. How far from Lviv are you? 
mm, maybe 800 kilometers so maybe 500 miles is it <laughs> is it pole tower region you live or cool tower <laughs> no uh, bob bob it's not uh, pole tower <laughs> But it's it's good translation Paul Tower. It's Paul Tower, Paul Tower. But it sounds like Paul Tower. You are right. Uh, hi, Lubus friend. I'm in Ireland. I hope she likes it. Nacy G. Uh, Luba, can you read English? If so, wave to the camera. Luba, wave to the camera. No, wave, just wave. She, he asks, can you read, can you understand? If okay, yes, please wave. So she, she understands mostly everything I say, but she does not want to speak. Are there food shortage? No, no. Так я бачу, Paul Tower. Sounds funny, Paul Tower. Uh, what time today in your country? It's uh, half past five. Да, чищи сто же. Пив все мы чипил просто. Погреб. Food storage? Shortage? No, то то він не за storage, а shortage. Це коли пусті полки. Hello from Azerbaijan, Mustafa. Uh, hello from US, hello Frankie, Paul Tower, yeah, <laughs> sounds really funny, Paul Tower. Jack, you are from Paul Tower. I guess Luba is a little shy to speak English, yeah, this is her, this is her ex excuse why she does not speak Staying warm, um, it's warm, warmer than it was, and of course, if you heat your home, it's also warm. Can you leave Ukraine to travel to use your passport? Unfortunately, no. Like I can use my passport, but I cannot leave Ukraine. It's Poltava guys, Christine Cooper. Christine, it's not Poltava, it's Paul Tower. Uh, Paolo, you live in Lviv? No, 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 I sent. Hello from Newfoundland. Are you ever afraid that war will reach the countryside where you are? Uh, we, like, we've never, we've never thought that the war, full-scale war, started. So now it's really hard to say something like do we afraid or not? That's a bright. But of course, like we hope that of course it won't happen here and uh, it won't reach here and uh, it will be over as soon as possible. Cibulu? No. You can see an onion here. Show dog and pet him. Yeah, how are things there in Ukraine? It's cold. Greetings from Belgium. Or Belgium. In Ukrainian, it's Belgia. Uh, I don't like asking you war questions, but how far away are you from it? Uh, if we take front lines now like the current front line it's about maybe four if we just took straight direction like through the sky it's about maybe 400 kilometers 400 450 kilometers uh, so uh, for example, in the beginning, 
when the war just started, we heard explosions and bangs in here, like in the countryside every day. And it seems that they were somewhere near. And uh, as for now, like you can hear explosions only when they are hitting our region and they are hitting our region often because we have we have some like places where they strike almost every week and you can hear explosions only only in it when it happens but before like two years ago you can hear explosions like 400 times per day <clears throat> 400 kilometers that good I'm relieved <sighs> of course like it's better than 100 kilometers or it's it's better than live just next to the front line but uh, even even when it's far I mean the war like you still feel it you still uh, like you you always have this in your head you also always have this mood and I, 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 I cannot even say that it's mood it's just you feel shitty to be honest like and uh, of course like you are trying to find some joy to entertain yourself some how but it's 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 really like almost impossible because so, for example today today we have we had strike in odessa civil building was hit and uh, people died people injured and you you know that it can happen like here not today like yesterday or in a few days and of course you're afraid of that you have some fear and you can do nothing about it you can do nothing about it and it's also Im impossible like to use to eat like it, it seems that we ukrainians uh, like it's been two years and we just used this war uh, but it's not like we just used to this war it's like we just have no choice we have no option i'm sorry uh, i like ignored all of your recent comments because i was i was talking are you still in the village where you go swimming so we usually come here to the countryside only during week weekends so during weekdays we are staying in the town and during week weekends on saturday and the sunday but it's not even every week Hi, Sonny. Hello, my friend. Uh, you cannot ignore it when it's at your door. Yeah, so this is the most right an answer. Oh, the answer. Najkrajšim požanjam, mis nazdravio, djakuj, the answer. Thanks for this super chat. So, you're, you, it's just impossible to ignore it. And... Uh, of course, like uh, I'm, I'm not maybe talking about the war. How, like I must like, but it's not about like there is no war. It's just about it's just about I don't wanna. You feel sorry for me, like for us, or I don't wanna complain about. But uh, frankly speaking, of course. Like, it's so shitty inside, like, you feel devastated, you feel heartbroken because, like, uh, 
the life and your plans and the life of uh, like 40 millions of people crashed and it's been two years and of course <laughs> yeah it's 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 hard but uh, yeah you cannot you can do nothing with it unfortunately of course like some people they chose to to leave ukraine some people chose to move somewhere to move to western regions but even in the western regions like even in lviv you still feel the war you still know that uh, your people are dying every day you still know that your people are suffering every day and of course like uh, emotionally emotionally it's hard it was like the minute of my uh, and it's not like it's not like I am complaining it just uh, I'm trying to be sincere and I'm trying to be open with you Ooh. yeah let me go back to your comments I'm just uh, doing circles adding more steps to my daily steps around the house so and let me read some comments from you uh, hello Paolo does your general Sirski have Ukrainian parents I was reading that he was living in Russia as far as I know our new general he he was born in Russia and he has mom parents I know I heard that he has mom in Russia and brother in Russia so you can open Wikipedia and uh, read talk shooter I was thinking about retiring in Ukraine and then Putin did this tech shooter yeah so even so I, I was talking that uh, life of Ukrainians was crushed and our, our all our plans our future but even like plans of many foreigners who who wanted to come to Ukraine to retire in Ukraine also were broken thanks for super chat uh, tag shooter Cornish super sticker received thanks for buying super sticker mm. Uh, this isn't burgeoning for human lives no one needs to be at risk for life and home over the plans of others life is about that home is about that uh, it seems it seems that uh, life is about everything but uh, like of course no one no one was born to to go to the to war or to fight or to die there or to kill someone no one was born to do that but uh, in our case our people who are fighting there they have no choice and uh, I have no choice <laughs> because somebody asked me about uh, like conscription yeah and it, it conscription and this uh, drafting it can touch everyone like every man in ukraine and you know that we have uh, martial law we have mobilization and every day it's uh, like becoming it's not like becoming stricter and stricter but uh, our government of course they need more people to join so Probably it will be stricter and stricter. Uh, sorry, I mean, should do anything to help Ukraine? Well, you, you should do anything to help Ukraine. Paul, 
HSU super sticker receive thanks for doing that thanks Paul I appreciate it if you wanna like uh, I think that instead of uh, super sticker like you can also uh, leave your message or question so I have some topic to answer or to talk uh, it's okay to be sad and frustrated about your life being put on hold and your country is in danger frustration and life on hold yeah this is <laughs> This is the two words that exactly described our life, life of many people here. Uh, we should not show Putler. I just started to read the comment and it disappears. Dark already in Bucharest, it's still light. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's close to 6, or maybe it's already 6. Uh, Paolo, what should people do f for you and Luba to make the stress better for you there? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know if you actually, like, if we're talking about, like, the mood and this, like, emotional condition inside, like, I don't know if you can affect it, like, you personally. Of course, like, all of us, we have to do something to make this war over as like as soon as possible. And of course, we have to talk about this war because it still continues and people are dying, people are suffering. And of course, like maybe you also tired of hearing that and I I can understand that but but we are living and we've been living for two years in this like war conditions war time and unfortunately like we cannot forget about it because like it's everywhere <laughs> it's everywhere here and like uh, all talks, all news, all our topics to discuss, they are related to the war, to the situation. And of course, like it's <laughs> devastated. <sighs> Night, what are you doing? I'm just uh, walking around the house and talking to you. I see some discussions about some coup, but I cannot catch your dialogue. Well, human same and all need peace. Ukraine should not trust you. You wants to do a deal with Putin over the body of Ukrainians. Mm. Samuel, I, I'm, I'm not thinking like it's related to you, like to European Union. European Union it's like trade alliance maybe you mean NATO it makes me sick when I see Russians traveling abroad and having a great time as if there are nothing going on they are truly pathetic I know some people in Ukraine like uh, 
blame all Russians. In my view, like I, I cannot say that I cannot blame like all of them because a lot of Russians who like moved out from Russia many years ago, a lot of Russians who support Ukraine, a lot of Russians who fight on Ukrainian side. But of course, if uh, those people who are traveling around the world, like uh, live in Russia, support their current government, and their g current government, they hate and they treat, uh, treat everyone. Because if you turn on their TV shows, you can see that uh, they are uh, saying that they need to destroy UK, US and all European countries like you know they have to con conquer 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 like you know to to invade and other European countries and of course uh, in recent Putin speeches he he said that we have no plans we have no plans to invade Poland we have no plans to invade some Baltic countries like uh, Estonia, Litva, Latvia, but he 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 said same things before he invaded Ukraine. So before the invasion, Putin, uh, Lavrov, this is uh, one of the minister in Russia, Peskov, Putin's secretary, all of them, they were saying that no one is gonna invade and there there is no invasion and it was just like two or three days before everything happened so I don't know like should we believe them or not Ukraine area and its people have suffered through the case. Uh, of course, uh, when I was younger, I considered our location so good because, like, we were between Russia and between uh, U European Union countries, and it was so like good geopolitical uh, location for trading because we have this uh, gas pipe from Russia to European Union countries and we have like all our roads with uh, let's say uh, Russian products, resources, grocery to European Union countries and it was like good but later on when uh, appeared aggression from Russian side and same with uh, Belarus, which is in north part of Ukraine border. Now, I believe that we have so, so, so bad location because, like, we have just, uh, like, we are between or near, like, enemy countries who. Uh, does not want us to exist who does not want us to develop to develop in European Union side and way and uh, now it's also said that these countries they will not disappear I mean Russia, Belarus they will not disappear and they will be our neighbors for many years like not for many years for for all years and of course like we have to find some ways to to make our life here like possible possible living next to them
Putin was left with no choice since the expansion of NATO into Ukraine. But what about other countries? What about other countries who who have joined NATO recently? And what about countries who have joined NATO before? Like uh, Estonia, Litva, Latvia. They were also the part of Soviet Union, but they joined NATO and there were no talks. So of course, maybe for Putin, NATO is a threat uh, as he annexed Crimea. And he was talking that if Ukraine joined NATO, so Ukraine can try to retake Crimea back. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if that happened, if we joined NATO. Paul... Uh, Paulo wakes up the neighbors in the neighborhood dogs barking lol. No, it's It's not me. It's another dogs uh, Ukrainians have been there centuries and way before Russia even started selecting land it wants to take Paul, is it okay in English to refer to refer what uh, to refer Belarus as White Russia? No, it's not. It's not correct. Like nobody, nobody says that White Russia. Like you cannot correct. Uh, you you cannot uh, translate name. Watching from North Carolina, brother, hello, Defres. I think Putler will not stop. I think it only depends on how we act. I mean, we, all of us, NATO, European Union. Because now, like, I just see that everybody just, just watch and see and wait for what's gonna be next. They have zero technologies of any advancements in anything. Where do you find anything other than? Uh, but they have, they have uh, gas. They have oil. They have a lot of military equipment from Soviet Union times, and they they are producing military equipment. And they have. <laughs> it's like. Mm, the biggest the biggest uh, problem that they have five five times more population than we have uh, what do you guys have for supper tonight mm, honestly I don't know I don't know I have to check but I see that there is nothing beside uh, bananas and oranges no 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 like uh, of course we will cook something it's just six and we had dinner at three o'clock so it was just three hours before they don't even have freedom but you see that the uh, Russians, they treat, they, they treat it good, and they don't need this freedom. Uh, uh, yesterday, yesterday was Navalny funeral. I know maybe some of you watched live stream from Russia. There, were, there were a lot of people, not 
like like really a lot of but maybe like a few thousand people but even during the funeral they still pack them uh, into buses I mean the police even du during the funeral I, I also uh, saw that they were shouting about uh, like stop the war and that uh, Ukrainians are good but of course like if we take the the amount of such people who are really against the war who are really not afraid going and uh, saying that somewhere on some protest and demonstration it's like just a small part of such people unfortunately and if we watch some uh, interviews interviews especially from uh, rural rural russia so it's like 90 percent of people answered that putin is the only one and Putin is only, yeah, only Putin, the president for Russia. But uh, I don't know if even if even they have some other candidates, because Navalny was the only really like uh, strong opposition leader. But you see how they how they act with opposition uh, white russia is belarus belarus it's it sounds like belarus like white russia but it's not correct to translate the name of the country and nobody nobody says below like white russia Let me check some comments or questions. Thanks, Anna Lead Dogs, for watching. Mm. It's so uh, 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 um, uncomfortable to read your comments on the cell phone. Hi, Paula. I'm from South Africa. I personally see your president as a woke politician. Politician. Uh, and it's just an opinion. Love the YouTube channel. Thanks, Patrick. They stopped and so from running. There are many Russians who want a different system, but I am from Germany, and we referred Belarus as White Russia. I don't know. I I've never heard someone who is who was referring Belarus as White Russia. Maybe it's like in international community, people uh, refers. Belarus is white Russia, but we say just Belarus, 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 Belarusia. Uh, Uh, you may also not truly understand the art of war. Dallas, I'm not uh, like saying that I understand it, but I, I'm just sharing my my view from my perspective. I'm not I'm not the military person. I'm a just a ordinary civilian who was never like who was never thinking and dreaming about any like military uh, 
uh, stuff. I mean, you know, there are people who who really like likes uh, not not of course not the war, but likes uh, to to shoot or to hunt or just wants to I don't know uh, know more about some uh, tanks or other military vehicles but there are also people like who who has absolutely different uh, absolutely different like hobbies I would say but of course like living in Ukraine you cannot be outside of the war topics and you cannot be outside of the politic in general because it's everywhere and uh, yeah even uh, I'm, I meant that boy meets world he had no clue what he's talking about that was what what are you talking about that boy meets world You're going through it, not the boy meets a nine person does. I know it's still it's still hard for me to understand you. And uh, for some people who who think that uh, like uh, I don't know how to explain that so. Uh, high Nordic. No, we are in countryside. You don't deserve country. Damagoy. Damagoy. What are you talking about? Damagoy. If you want to show how how you brave, you can come to Ukraine. You can join international legend and you can go to the front line. And you can show to all of us how brave you are. Because uh, those people who are writing some shitty comments like a uh, thousand miles away from Ukraine, from your sofas, of course you are brave. You can come to Ukraine even just, I don't know, to leave. To leave for a few weeks. You can find some apartment in Kiev. And you can come and enjoy. Enjoy your life here under a a raid sirens after missiles attacks and we'll see i'm sorry for saying that but of course some people who are showing how they are brave in the comments they made me a bit angry i don't want to be offensive but of course, um, not of course, but thankfully, like, I have mostly people who are, who are, like, uh, not adequate, sane, but people who understand everything. Uh, people in the comments can never be braver than what you're all going through. Exactly. Uh, Domagoy Loen, you said I went through war, so uh, if you went through war, you would never send anyone to the war, and if you went through war, you you definitely know that the war is the most horrible in this world. I have people, I have friends outside of Ukraine who also military and who who were in the war 
and he he said that the war is the most horrible and of course like uh, it's the most horrible that can happen and if you are sending someone to the war it means that you are just uh, like sofa troller uh, 200k Ukrainian male here in Germany it could be maybe not 200k maybe like 200k people in general because 200,000 male is maybe a bit but maybe before before the war started Germany had a lot of our people then why would anyone blame a country that did not choose war? <laughs> I don't know it's like to blame to blame a person who was sitting at home and then the robber came and wants to rob you, to kill you and it's like the same situation Uh, PJJ, hey Paolo, sending much love from Canada. Can your mods get rid of the trolls in here? Ignore the trolls. Well said, Paolo, sitting in their small rooms, showing bravery behind. I have uh, mods here, and like, uh, as for trolls, I don't mind trolls. Like, sometimes it's real, it's even interesting to answer these questions because, like, it's <laughs> like I have answers for like oh, most of all of uh, the questions they have and uh, that's why like I don't mind and I don't care about trolls but of course like they make me uh, make me a bit angry but it's okay I don't know if you even see me because I see just black screen. Uh, Jerry, my pleasure. <laughs> All right, it's uh, it's been an hour and eleven minutes, and it's really dark here, so maybe. I will end this live for now and and I see that there are already people who are discussing politics between each other no, but we are all here with you. We hardly see you, but can hear you perfectly. It's good, Nordic light. I'm standing in front of the window. Uh, uh, George, okay, have a good evening if you leave. Yeah, maybe I'll do a few more circles around the house and uh, I'll go inside because uh, I was thinking to like start this life earlier but unfortunately like many of you uh, many of you have night or early morning when we have day here Uh, hey Don, I'll, I'll say Luba and family hi from you. You changed the nickname, American Dude. Meaty boy. Also, don't pay attention <coughs> to people who annoy you.
after all so boring they crave attention they lack a heart sometimes we can see you john elizondo thanks for super chat stay safe mate thanks a lot john gary pavlovin and if you can leave always know my place is yours and luba jack and family always know i'm your friend thanks gary i think romania and ukraine have the same time zone yeah could be it's 8 30 a.m california yeah i change it why did you change it yeah it's just 8 30 in california saturday so most of you guys uh, had dream when i started this life i would have fear for mines jim beam um, as far as i know ukraine is the most mined country in the world right now and of course it will be our big problem after the war be over and apart from the ground mines we have a lot of sea mines and even uh, this summer when we were in odessa maybe some of you remember uh, videos from odessa from beaches and we have the, that uh, safety meshes and we had inspections but uh, to be honest it was still a bit uh, uh, a bit like scary to swim in the sea and how we will solve that issue because i don't know how many mines we have now in the sea on the coast can see but it's like you're on the radio <laughs> Philippe I would have fear for months yeah been enjoying your channel since before all this mess started thanks Christine Christine Cooper I stand with Polish farmers well, the, uh, this situation in Poland also also makes me a bit angry and I, I i i honestly do not know why we are not we're still not like solving this issue because of this blockade uh, prices here for grocery for gasoline they are raising and of course our dipl our like diplomacy people they have to solve this issue with farmers with uh, border blockade uh, uh, Dallas raids can help with finding the one in mines crazy sounding I know but they work hard and highly intelligent Garbo 123 please be safe Paolo you and your family my prayers thanks Garbo Thanks, Madrock, for your kind words. Enjoy your channel. Uh, it's a little bit like blo Blur Witch. Now it's dark. All right, guys. It's really... It's completely dark here. Thanks for being with me during this live. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your support. Like... That you support Ukraine in general, that you support Ukrainians, uh, all of us very grateful for that. And yeah, our people need you, our country needs you. Please talk more about Ukraine. Don't forget that we have, we still have war here. Yeah, something like that. Thanks to my mods and i hope that i'll see you maybe tomorrow maybe in a few days but i'll try to make this short lives more often thanks guys and i'll see you i'm finishing bye bye